Hey YouTube, welcome to part 7 of my blog for the build. In this episode we're still welding up the lower frame and making a hydraulic reservoir out of an old gas tank. So on with the show. I've got the trolley part up on the stands again. I'm just going to give the wells a quick go over, get it ready for painting. I might still have a little bit of welding. I haven't decided on the oil tank yet, but I can touch that up if I need to. So I'm going to paint it now because next job is to put the engine on. That should do it. I've just gone along and given it a quick coat on some of the pieces that aren't galvanised. It's getting a bit late for painting now, getting a bit dark too. So I'll come back tomorrow or probably the next day in the afternoon and finish off the painting on that. I need a hydraulic reservoir for this wood splitter and I was going to use a smaller gas bottle that I've got but when I picked it up to use it I found it was still full of gas and I'm too cheap to let that out into the atmosphere. I'm going to use that in the barbecue. But I do have this other larger gas bottle which I've cut in half for another job which I didn't end up proceeding with. So I'm going to weld it back together again and use it for the hydraulic reservoir on the log splitter. That's what I'm up to now. I've just cleaned it up a little bit. Probably need to take a little bit more off that outside so I can get a good weld bead around there. This, this part of the ring is loose in here so I'm just going to tack that in place. It was the backing ring around the original weld. So I'm just going to put a couple of tacks on it to hold it in place. Then I'll rig it up, line it up somehow and put a few tacks around it. Once I've got it all set up, run a solid bead of weld around it and hopefully I'll make it oil tight. It doesn't have to be pressure tight, it's only a reservoir, but I don't want it leaking oil out all over the place. So with any luck, I'll get a decent weld there, we'll see how we go. Just a few tacks around this just to hold it in place. Do I have an earth clamp? I do not. Now let's see if we can do any better. That'll hold him in place while I get a weld around the outside. I'll get him all nicely cleaned up and maybe take a bit of the paint off the outside too to make the welding easier and come back and we'll tack it together and weld it. I really like my remote microphone setup but there's two annoying things about it. One is that there's no audible beep when it runs out of battery or just before it runs out of battery to warn me so I have to keep my eye on the lights and I miss that sometimes. And the other thing is the way I wear it I think sometimes one of the buttons it's not and put the transmitter off channel to the receiver and therefore I lose audio and that happens more often than I like. It's happened now so I've got to dub over the audio and try and remember what I was explaining as I was doing it. Quite annoying but anyway that's the way it is otherwise it's a good microphone system. Now I had this gas tank cut in half for another project which I didn't end up going ahead with and I decided now that I can use it for the hydraulic reservoir on the log splitter so I'm faced with building it back together again. Bit of a pain, wished I hadn't cut it in half now but never mind, done is done. I'm placing some 1 8 inch TIG rods around the edge, I've got four of them there to provide a gap to weld in the root base and I'll pack it together with those in there and after that I'll be able to go around and weld it, hopefully without having any leaks, but that remains to be seen. Now once I've got it all packed up, I have to go around and weld the circumference, and since I don't have one of those fancy rotating jigs to do it with, I use the simple expedient of laying it down on the table and rolling the cylinder around while I'm welding. Not as good as some of these people you see on YouTube with all the YouTube equipment, but it seems to get the job done just fine for me. Now this is a part of the job that I haven't got in the plans. I've got roughly what I'm doing to mount the oil reservoir, which is an old gas cylinder, but I haven't put in exactly how you mount it because what you end up doing to mount an oil reservoir depends on what you end up using for an oil reservoir. Anything that's reasonably solid, it shouldn't have much pressure in it. So anything that's reasonably solid should do the trick. An old gas cylinder that I had kicking around is ideal for me, but you may have something else you want to use. An old cylinder or a small air compressor could be fine too. There'd be lots of things that would work. And how you mount it on depends on what you have. So just in general, figure out how to mount it and strap it on securely. 
I'm just going to weld a little bracket on here because I decided that I'd use the top of the gas bottle because that just happens to sit nicely in the round piece at the bottom as a stay for it and because I didn't really plan how I was going to set this up before I did the job I haven't got much to weld there so I'm just going to weld this piece on here first which will give me plenty of meat to weld onto and I can take it from there. That's all I need, this little shelf there, I can weld that on and that will that'll do the job quite neatly. Knock off a couple of these rough edges. Alright, a couple of welds on him. Yeah, more than enough to hold that. Yeah, something like that there, cut him off at a reasonable height and just put a strap around it to hold the bottle in place. Should be all I need. Okay, the bottle sits over that like that. Oh, perfect positioning too. We'll just weld that there, cut him off about there. And I should be able to arrange a strap around that to hold it in. Perfect. Now I cut off a piece off to the end of this and I'm just going to weld it on this way. It'll serve two purposes, it'll seal the top of it so that it doesn't get filled up with water. I'm going to leave a piece of the bottom open anyway so it shouldn't be an issue. Then I can put the strap through here to strap the tank in. That's what I'm about to do, I'm going to weld that up now. Hopefully I can do it with low amperage on the stick and save me changing over. If it looks like it'll burn through I'll get the TIG onto it. I'm welding right on the low end of the amperage range for these rods. Uh, 50 amp at the bottom end. You can tell by the hard start on it that it's right on the bottom end. I don't want to use any more because I don't want to risk burning through the wall on this. It's very thin, probably about one and a half mil maybe. So 16th of an inch roughly. And these are 2.5 millimeter new weld rods. E13. Got him sealed and no blow through. And there it is sitting in place there. Hole goes through this way. So the strap goes around here and I'm just going to weld him on there. I don't think I need anything elaborate for it, but I do need an earth bleed. And some electricity on the welder. Put the amperage up a little bit also might help. I left it down on the low end and because this bottom piece is thicker I can direct the heat into there. A little bit more amp, it should be okay. Get this bottle out of the way now and go around and finish welding him. That's it. That's finished my mount for the hydraulic reservoir. Okay, done deal. The next job to do is to get some sort of hitch on this so I can hook it onto the back of the tractor to tow it around. Probably could have put a handle on but I think it'll be a bit too heavy to drag up and down a hill. So I've cut a piece of strap. I'm just going to weld that across there to close the end off. I'm not going to worry about hangs over a little bit each side. I'll just put a fillet weld in there. Then I'm going to weld a piece out here at the right height to fit onto my tractor hitch. Nothing flash, nothing fancy, and not in the plans because you will need to measure what height you want the hitch at and make it to suit. I left the end at an angle uh, just because that was the way it was cut. Doesn't matter if it's square, but I didn't bother trimming it. So I'll get to and weld that on. Yeah, I'm just going to line it up by eye. About right. Mm, not enough contact. Contact is going to be a little bit of an issue as I go around this. So I'm balancing him. Need him to hold there for a bit. I might put another run along that, I think.
And I'll put a second run down this side as well just to fill that, fill it up a little bit and make it look better. Uh, that'll do that. I've got to measure how high I want it and then cut a piece to put it onto the tractor hitch. This is the end sitting up here and I've cut this piece just to go onto the hitch on the tractor. And the weld him on just pretty much level with the bottom, that'll be the right height for it. I'll tack him there and then get some decent welds on him. Running a good earth is going to be a problem. If it'll hold. Yeah, if it'll hold there until I get a tack on him, I might be able to work something a little bit better then. Ooh, that heat got through the glove. Whew, that was a bit warm. Yeah, I'll look at him, see how he looks. Seems to be all right. Maybe two or three millimetres off centre, but I am not going to worry about that. Well, my finger's still hurting from that first tack. I don't want to go put another one on. That ought to do it. I just welded it on there now and I have painted it. It's still hot, but that should be fine. There's only one more or two more pieces to weld on and that's typically is to go on the end of the upright to hold the horizontal ram support in place. And then the bottom of it's finished. I'll start bolting the bits and pieces on to it. Still got to paint the horizontal ram support, but we're getting close to the end now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. We're getting towards the end of it now. I've got a fair bit of video footage left, but by the time I edit it down, I expect maybe another couple of episodes should see the build done. If you'd like to see more of my projects, you can go to my channel or browse my website. Don't forget to click like, comment, and subscribe for more. Until next time.